So to start, Benefit kindly sent me a few new brow products. So I'm going to use the Highbrow Glow underneath my brow bone and then just pat this in with my finger. But already you can see it like adds that glow into your skin. So I just pat that in with my fingers. Next, I'm going to tuck my hair behind my ears because it's in my way. Next, I'm going to fill in the tails of my brow with the Cabrow Eyebrow Pomade. I love, love, love this product. So I'm starting at the arch of my brow and just making little tiny strokes down to the ends. Cool, and when my arches are nice and filled in, I'm going to use the Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three. I really, really like the shape of this little pencil because it's super, super tiny. So it's great for filling in the fronts of your brows without making it look too heavy. So I'm literally just going to draw little upward strokes in the front of my brow. And then I just use the spoolie and keep on brushing upwards. So that way there's no harsh edges in the front of my brow. I also love the packaging of this one. It looks like a little magic wand. It's super cute. And then I'm going to set them in place with the 24 hour brow setter so that they do not move. And then lastly, I'm going to go over my whole eye area with some concealer. And I start carving out the tops of my brows. When I'm pretty happy with the shape, I just use my beauty blender to go over all the edges so nothing is too harsh. And that is basically how I've been doing my brows lately. I just quickly prepped my eyelids with the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer and set that with my RCMA No Color Powder so we can go straight on with some eyeshadows. Today I'm super, super excited to try out the new Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. I'm such a fan of Lime Crime. If you've seen my channel in the past, you can see my Lime Crime collection of lipsticks is huge and i also am obsessed with their original venus palette so venus 3 came out and these are just so up my alley in terms of colors like pinky purples as usual are like my favorites i'm going to start by using the color dreamy which is this really nice muted kind of purple tone and a morphe r31 brush just because this gets the job done really really quick and easy these shadows are really pigmented as well so I try to be quite light-handed with everything and then just build them up rather than going in with like way too much color and having to try and buff that out. Next I'm going to go in with the color Paradise which is this really really beautiful purple. It honestly looks more amazing in person than it does like in any of the photos that I saw online. And again I'm just popping this into my crease. Like, do you see how pigmented that is with like one little tap of my brush? And I'm going all the way into the inner corner and all the way to the outer corner. See, that was one tap of my brush into that pen and that's how much colour that came off. It is incredible. So now I'm just going to go back in with a second tap of that colour and pop a little bit more into my crease just to darken it up and keep it a little bit more concentrated in that outer third like that. Honestly, this eyeshadow just impresses me so much every time I use it. Next, I'm going in with Ecstasy on my lid, almost forming a bit of a halo kind of effect. So on the outer third and the inner third. I feel like I totally did them lopsided, but hey, whatever. Then to fill in that middle section, I'm going to use Beam on my finger. That way it stays really, really metallic and just incredible it does look a lot more purple in the pan versus like on your eye it turns into like almost like a pinky tone rather than that like lilac-y tone to add an extra dimension of reflection i'm going to use this urban decay heavy metal eyeliner in the color distortion which has some pinky and greeny kind of reflects in it i'm just gonna add a couple of little dabs of that right in the center of the lid oh no I just scraped it with my nail. For the inner corner, I'm going to put a little bit of Rapture and Heavenly to brighten up that area. And then just going underneath the eyes with the same colors that we used before, Dreamy, Paradise, and Ecstasy. Ugh, just put eyeshadow all in my eyes. So of course I have to finish this off with some eyeliner and mascara, so I'll be right back. I just done my eyeliner and mascara and I just popped on these lashes. These are the Eyelore Texture 117 lashes and these are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite lashes. I feel like they're the perfect shape, the perfect size. Um, I just think they look good on literally everybody as well because they're not too big and even if you have like hooded eyes or anything like that, they don't like take over your whole face. 
So I really, really like these lashes and I especially like the fact that they are kind of textured. They kind of look like those mink lashes. But these ones I got on sale at like Woolworths and they're all like $10 each. I also really like the Model Rock Fluffy lashes. Literally any of the numbers that are called Fluffy 5, Fluffy 4, whatever. I really, really like those ones as well. I'm just going to quickly finish up by touching up the little white spots of that glue because I'm a dummy and I still haven't bought black eyelash glue for some reason. That's my neighbor's dog and it kills me every day. So I'm pretty happy with the eye makeup. Now I'm going to move on to doing my face. For primer, I used the Embryolisse La Cream Concentrate, which is a really, really good primer, moisturizer, and mask. So it works as all three of those things. And I personally just use it as a kind of moisturizer before I put on my foundation. So I don't actually need to use a second primer over the top, but I can. For foundation, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation in the shade Light Neutral, which I think will match my tan. We will hope and see. I haven't decided if I like this or hate this because it is hydrating. However, it is very sheer. It's very, very natural. And um, I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about it because it's not enough coverage for me to wear on you know a daily basis but it's enough for maybe if I was going to the gym and I just needed like something to cover up you know a little bit of pigmentation <laughs> I don't know if the camera can see but I mean I can still see all the little marks and pigmentation that I have on my cheeks which I'm always trying to you know cover up so that's why I don't love this foundation Okay, so I've just applied one thin layer of that foundation. Oh, I say thin, it was really thick. And now I'm going to go in with my trusty Ultra HD stick foundation with my finger and just add coverage to the spots where I need it. That's better. It's actually insane how quickly this is just like instant full coverage and instantly I feel so much better about my skin. Not that I have bad skin, I just have a lot of pigmentation and scarring. So even though my skin is smooth, it only looks good when I have foundation on because otherwise I just have all this pigmentation. There is a reason why that stick foundation is my literal all-time favourite foundation. It just looks so perfect. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. As you can see, there is no label left on this, um, so I'm really excited for their new release of this concealer in like the brand new packaging and everything because I really, really like it. It's super, super thick and creamy. I wouldn't say it's completely creaseless because everything creases on me. However, it does give a really nice, soft, glowy finish underneath the eyes. And I'm also going to pop a little bit down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, because I've been doing a little bit of nose contouring lately. So I'm looking very shiny at the moment. So I am going to set my face. Which is another step that I literally never do. But recently I've been changing my makeup routine a little bit so that my makeup lasts super, super long. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder. This is the loose powder. And just tap that underneath my eyes and slightly buff it in so that it doesn't get any flashback. And then when I'm happy with the texture of my under eyes, then I go in with the RCMA No Colour Powder and I use this to set the rest of my face. Really, really lightly going over my cheeks, chin, basically everywhere. Then when my face is just really lightly set, I'm going to take my Wet Beauty Blender again and I'm going to use that same powder to chisel out my cheekbones. And I also use this slightly underneath my eyes just to bake very lightly. I say lightly and this is what it looks like. Because <laughs> I find if I just do this by itself without the other powder underneath, it looks way too dry, way too cakey. Cool, and then I just sweep it away pretty quickly afterwards. I don't really let it bake for too long. Because like I said, otherwise it dries me out way too much. But that gives me a really nice, super matte complexion that now I can go over with some contour colors. For contour, I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Light Sculpting Powder, which is just the most beautiful, cool-toned sculpting color. 
So I use this for underneath my cheekbones, around my hairline as well a little bit, just on the sides. This is also the colour that I use for my nose contour. So just really lightly going in with some of that powder. Cool, so that just snatches your nose a little bit. The reason that why I don't usually nose contour is because it just looks really, really fake in person. It looks great on camera, but if you ever look at real, real um, snatched noses in real life, they just look ridiculous, especially from the side, because it's just like a stripe down your nose. But I feel like when I look straight on, it just does make such a difference, especially in photos. For blush, I'm actually going to use a little bit of that Rapture colour as well. This sounds really weird as it's a shimmer, but especially on my skin, it's really strong. Like, the pigment of the pink, like, comes out so much. For highlight, I'm going to use a mixture of Becca's Rose Quartz and Moonstone, which is my favourite of all time. So first going in with a little bit of Rose Quartz, because I want to have a little bit of a pinky tone. And then for the rest of the face, I'm just going to go over with Moonstone for that ultra, like, blinding glow on the cubist bow. And I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny brush and pop that highlight right down the centre of my nose. Kind of drawing like a little exclamation mark and then the dot so you've got like a line and then a dot and i'm also just going to pop a tiny bit of that into the inner corners of my eyes because there's never enough highlights now because my skin is super matte i have to set this with some setting spray so i've just got a little bit of this skin denavia makeup setting spray makeup finishing spray just to rehydrate my skin again so that powder doesn't ruin it i'm going to show you guys two lip options because i couldn't really decide so on a daily basis i would definitely go for a nude but i want to show you with something a little bit bolder so this is lime crimes mirage this is one of their pearly lipsticks and it's this gorgeous kind of purpley tone which i think obviously complements this makeup so i just wanted to try it it's really nice when bullets actually keep their shape and they don't just like smush all over your lip Ooh, what do we think I really like that. Cool. Okay, now I want to show you with a nude tone lipstick as well. So this one here is called Lulu, which is from the Girls, Girls, Girls collection. This is one of my all-time favorite lu lewd? Nude. <laughs> nude. Oh my god, I can't even say it. This is one of my all-time favorite nude colors. Mm. It's so pretty. Let me know what you think about this lip colour instead of the purple. Which one do you prefer? I actually really like both of them. This is a lot more wearable, definitely. But the purple goes so well with the eye makeup that I kind of love it. So that, guys, is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what type of videos that you would like to see from me in the future, whether you like these kind of get ready with me slash makeup tutorial videos, or if you like more of the day in the life or random videos that I film with my friends, like the mukbang that I just filmed. I would really love your opinion because I want to make the content that you guys want, obviously. Other than that, I hope you all are having a really, really great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hmm. <coughs> Where's my boopy bimbo?